It's really about what gets into the way of globalization. I'm focusing on non-economic factors, such as some histor historical events or some political forces which get into the way of globalization. See, I'm actually uh, going to talk about research, a piece of research which, examining, which actually examines the impact of the Japanese invasion of China on the bilateral trade and investment between the two countries. So, so we will actually use these civilian casualties to measure the severity of the damage caused by the invasion. What we find is that in regions that suffer greater casualties, they actually accommodate less direct investment coming from Japan. What I really mean is that we actually have different ways of measuring investment from Japan, including, you know, number of projects, including amount of investment. So regions that suffer greater casualty, they accommodate less number of projects, they actually receive less amount of capital from Japan. We also find that in regions that suffer greater casualties from the invasion, they have less trade with Japan. They actually import less from Japan. So, so uh, essentially, what we find is that historical aminosity does matter for international trade and investment, despite the trend towards globalization. And if the Chinese and the Japanese can turn the dark page, the two countries can have much greater trade and investment. Mm -hmm.